What's going on guys, Kaivox here and welcome to this, um, I guess we're going to call it an update slash channel update slash update video. I just want to go over a couple of things that I've been working on. Uh, I'm going to show you guys a couple of work in progress wands that's, that, that, I've, that I've been working on that I, I wasn't quite able to finish this week. That's why there was no new wands day this week. Um, there was no time for it. So therefore, I figured let's make a different type of video where I show you guys some stuff and just talk about some random stuff that's been going on. Um, also, come back tomorrow because we are doing that live stream around 7 Eastern Standard Time. Um, so I look forward to seeing all y'all there. And uh, I hope it's... Uh, I hope it's gonna be, I hope it's fun. We may draw up some wands. I don't know yet what we're gonna do. We kinda just like to hang out with you guys and talk about whatever's been, whatever's going on, whatever's going, going happening. Let's start off with uh, talking about some of these wands that I got over here in the cor little corner over here. Let's start off with the least finished one, which is this guy. This kinda looks like some of the wands that you guys submit to me. You know, where I'm always like, that thing is way too fat. What are you, what are you guys trying to do? What are you, what are you trying to make here? Um, I still got a lot of work to do to this. This is kind of just the grunt. I want to show you guys this because usually I'll start off with kind of a squared off um, 12 inch, 13 inch, 14 inch, depending on what we're going for piece of wood. And then this one, um, that's exactly what I did. I, I squared it off and I just started carving away at it to kind of start getting the general shape of it. Um, you can't really tell what it's going to be here, but hopefully by next week I'll have this one done and I can show you guys some more about it, of it, show you guys more of the wand. And then the next one that is about halfway done as well is uh, this little guy right here. I forgot who submitted a wand that looked very similar to this um, and I was like, hmm. That one looks a lot like the one that I started making too. Um, I do want to put in some carvings into this. I haven't figured out yet. Do I want to use the laser so I can get some some nifty different types of uh, type of stuff on there, or just like that precision of the laser? Maybe I don't know yet. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know if I'm gonna go with uh, wood burning or if I'm gonna go with just carving it in. Um, I haven't figured it out yet. If you guys have any ideas for any patterns that you actually want me to put on here. Um, let me know down below, put a link down below and I'll check it out and I'll see, uh, see if I can adapt it to actually putting it on one of these flats right here that I got. Um, that would be cool to do. I think that would probably work out pretty well. And then we got this little angled piece here at the end and, uh, I think this one's going to come out good. I still have to go in and refine this a lot more, uh, just get it straighter pretty much. Um, but I think this one's going to look really cool. But that's that one. And now this one I would say is probably the most done one out of the three. Um, it's not quite done yet and it's a little on the too long side. Um, I wanna trim off a little bit off more of this right here. But we have some uh, mahogany on this end and this is obviously the black palm. You could always, uh, you can always tell if it's black palm. Palm, I can't ever say that word. Um, just because of that cool pattern that it has on it. I just, I love, I've, I stabbed myself so many times with this carving. Um, I was actually carving it by hand. Um, and a couple of times I just went with my thumb and it just peeled back a couple pieces and just went right into my thumb. So um, it wasn't even a knife. It was actually the wood that stabbed me it's just ever so slowly. One of the times it actually just went in and it went and I was just like, oh, okay. That just happened. And I just like pulled it out and I was like, yeah, that didn't feel good. Uh, none of it really bled a lot. It was just kind of like, my thumbs are kind of like rough now from getting cut so many times that like it doesn't even phase me barely anymore. The main thing with this is that obviously it's two pieces of wood. So all that was done was a, a little hole was drilled in there. I actually like to drill the hole before I start carving it out because makes it a lot easier to do that. So that's a like quick little pro tip right there for you guys. Here, what I would do is if I wanna reduce the length of this, instead of chopping off this end, which you can do, it's just gonna give you more work if you already finished it, kind of like how mine is. Um, I would actually chop off a little bit off of here so that then it would just, uh, you know, be more. And I was kind of going for a more, probably about here would be the length, but I don't know yet. Let me know if you guys think that this length is good. I believe this is actually, pretty long right now. I think it's about 15 inches, just a little bit short of 15 inches. So um, it is on the longer 
style wands. Um, let me know if you guys think that that's a good length, if you, if you think I should keep it that way. Um, again, just leave, leave a comment down below and let me know. I kind of was going for kind of like an arching, arcing like style right here where it kind of just goes up and dips down a little bit. You can kind of see it more if I flip it upside down. Um, it, it, you could see it a little bit better, but it's not too noticeable. And then obviously I actually took some, uh, some thin string. Where do I have any around? So I took some of this, uh, this string here and, uh, I actually had, I can't even see it. I actually had Mika Chi braid, braid it for me. And, uh, and then that's what this is right here. This is a nice little braided piece. Uh, just wrapped around and glued into place. Um, I didn't want to have any sort of knots on there. And I just kind of wanted to have one little thing in the back just to, I don't know, add a little. I thought about putting one here too so that I had like two. But I was like, you know what? That's too much. Let's just have the one in the back kind of looking like it's holding everything together. That was the idea behind this one. But like I said, this is the most complete out of the three that I have that I've been working on. Um, and I still have to refine this one, go back, finish it up real nice, make it real look, make it look real good. It's been about two weeks that I've had all three of these wands not fully completed yet, but um, it's just, for some reason right now, time is just not on my side. So that being said, um, those are the three wands that I have that I've been working on right now. And hopefully I'll have some more, I'll be able to finish up some more this weekend. Um, I am, pretty busy this weekend, so I don't know how well, eh, we'll, we'll try to probably try to figure it out on Sunday, try to get those finished up on Sunday. I also want to let you guys know about the, um, the big giveaway coming up. We're, we'll do another video about it where I specifically talk about it. If you guys aren't subscribed already, make sure that you are and you have that notification set up because we are going to be doing that big giveaway for the loot crate slash, um, geek gear crate slash unicorn slash some other book crates and stuff that we have. Um, every about six months, we take all of that stuff, put it into, this time we're gonna be actually be doing two giveaways probably. Um, so two separate things where you're just gonna get a bunch of goodies and uh, all you have to do is be subscribed and like that video and probably leave a comment on that video and uh, and we'll we'll be sending that out to a lucky viewer. Again, we are gonna be doing a separate video about that, so just stay tuned. Hopefully you guys win. Another idea that I had, I know you guys, some of you guys have been bugging me about making, um, let me see, making another one of those right there, but making the, um, the, the 10,000 subscriber play button, which I have the play button itself made, but recently found out that uh, YouTube changed the way their play buttons look. So now I feel like, should I make, let me get it. Should I make the um, bronze play button, which kind of looks gold, but it is bronze, all right? That's, the, 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 that's what the can said, that's what the color said. It said it was bronze. So leave me alone. Can I live, can I breathe, can I live my life? Thank you. I don't know if I should make one like this, you know, just another style of like that right there, but make it like this with this one, or should I make the new style? I do want to make a hundred thousand subscriber play button just to show you guys how to make, if you guys want to make your own, you know, just change it up or whatever, but they've changed it. They, they, it's different now. It's not the same at all. It's completely different. Let me know if you guys want me to just put one together of one of these, or if you want me to put, um, one of the new style ones together. I think the new style one would be pretty cool. It doesn't seem very hard, um, but it is completely different than these. If you guys haven't seen what they look like yet, just Google it. New 2018 YouTube play button. It's completely different. It has like a mirror in it and stuff instead of the actual physical play button. It's just weird. Not a big fan of it, but if I if I got one someday, I'd be happy. Don't get me wrong. I'd, I'd like it. I'd appreciate it. For the patrons that are watching right now, we are gonna be doing a special giveaway just for you guys alongside that other giveaway that I just mentioned like a little while ago. Um, you guys are gonna get your own prize out of that. Uh, most likely you guys are gonna get your prizes first too. So um, thanks for being p patrons, man. Thanks, thanks for sticking in there. Thanks for being awesome. And um, 
If anybody wants to join, you guys could still be a part of that giveaway as well. There's usually a link at the end of the video and also down in the description. Um, feel free if you don't want to, not a big deal. So if you guys are here for the um, Mikachi side of stuff, I hope you guys have been enjoying some of the videos that we've been putting out lately. I've been trying to be more of a part of her booktube stuff. Um, even though I'm not as big of a reader as her, I do enjoy books a lot, especially audiobooks. Just if you get a, a good like narrator and it's just like, oh man, I just, mm, I just love the, them books. I just don't have a lot of time to physically stop and read. So audiobooks are, you know, the bomb diggity. Yeah, we're definitely trying to do more book related stuff and more, um, more, more of the book club stuff. And Hopefully soon she's gonna have a little bit more time to hopefully put in to the channel and we could get some more book stuff out and some more, give me some other time to do other things besides trying to help her with all her stiff. But um, I I've been enjoying it and I hopefully you guys have been enjoying it. Hopefully some of you guys are here solely because of her and hopefully enjoy some of my content too. Um, if you guys have any ideas for any DIYs you guys wanna see in the future, Leave them down below. Um, something besides wands. I do enjoy making the wands, but um, I sometimes I want to try something else. So um, I will be doing that in the future. I have thought about making a broom, but I just have to figure out a good, like a cool design. I don't want to just rip off like the old ones, the ones from the movies and stuff like that. They are cool, but um, you know, I just want to try something different. I think it would be fun to uh, to give it a little, to give it a shot to do to just to do something weird like that, um, but also other things. I do enjoy making other things, like I am gonna be making probably that play button sometime soon. Um, but if you guys have any specific ideas that you guys wanna see, even if it's uh, related to something, like a different type of show or a different fandom, and uh, maybe we'll have a conversation about that in a future video and we could make something cool. And uh, I'm, I've just been itching, itching to make something different recently. So uh, I'm definitely trying to work on that. It's just, I don't know, summer comes around and I run out of time. I just, I run out of time. All right, guys, so uh, that about uh, wraps it up for this quick a little um, not so quick update. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And um, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you guys have any ideas for any future videos or if you guys want us to talk about anything specific, I, lo I, I like to hear what you guys have to say even though I'm not actually hearing you. I like to read what you guys have to say um, and I do appreciate different ideas. Even if I don't do the exact idea you have, it helps me come up with um, new things to talk about. We are also going to be doing that uh, 23andMe thing. Mikachi and I are gonna be doing that um, and uh, it's probably gonna take like two months for us to record that video because um, one, it, it takes like two months to get it back, the, the results. But um, I think it would be fun to see um, if I'm actually Japanese, like I think I am. And I don't think I am, but it would be super cool if I had like a little Japanese in me because then I could be like, see, that's why I like anime. That makes sense. See, now I am a, a real weeb. I can be myself now. I'm Japanese, guys, everybody, Japanese. Anybody else Japanese in here? No, but I am, look at me. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys stay notified. Join that giveaway that's gonna be coming out hopefully this upcoming week and um, I do actually have another giveaway going on right now for the uh, for the Ravenclaw uh, badge wand hanger thing. I should just make these, like, right? Just, just these plates without the hangers on them. Let me know if that's a good idea too. I think that's a pretty cool, I think that'd be a pretty cool idea. I think I should do that. Just kind of like this plate with the back plate on it and then you could just hang it up and be like, yo, I'm a Ravenclaw, son. Chickity, check it out. I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to miss, don't, <laughs> don't, oh my God. Don't miss the live stream on Friday, every Friday, seven standard, Eastern standard time, um, Friday, here, right here. Yeah. See you guys in the next video. Bye-bye-bye. <laughs>